Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the Robertone card to review. Uh, people have been wondering about this one because he's very interesting since he has the medium high work rate, right? So guys, we're taking a look at a card who is five foot nine medium high work rates, right footed, four star skills, they four star weak foot. Um, some people are debating whether or not they should even use them in the cam position. Don't get me wrong, guys. You definitely can 100%. And the fact that he offers you defensive presence is fantastic. So you could. You could use him in that position. But there are better players that suit the cam position a little bit better, right? This looks like the type of car that you are mostly going to be using in the center mid or CDM position because of the medium high work rate that he has while offering you defensive capabilities. Yes, the card's defensive awareness is at a 74, but he does have a medium high work rate, and that high defensive work rate usually is very nice to work with. Player traits in game, he has the dives into tackles traits, finesse shot traits, flare traits, and the long shot taker. In game attributes, uh, the card actually has some pretty decent shooting capabilities, right? Pace is in a decent area. Reason being for this is because um, with Robert Tone in game, I'm going to show you guys. Uh, he is an explosive player, right? Uh, you don't, you can't make him a lengthy, which it really isn't that big of a deal, right? Because on an explosive, he looks fantastic on an anchor chemistry cell. If you're old gen version of the game, maybe you want to give him a shadow because the pace works a little bit differently on that game. But um, for the new gen version of the game, it's definitely going to be. Uh, an anchor chemistry style flex because the explosiveness is what's going to help him initially make those certain movements that you want, right? Um, I do prefer to have lengthy CDMs, you know, someone like um, Palinha and well, as well as uh, Valverde. Valverde is definitely one of the full meta cards this year. Uh, high, high work rates, four star weak foe while being tall. So a couple variables to work with there with the lengthy. But Robert Tone is different because he is from Argentina while working with Liga Santander links. So that could be very helpful if you're fitting in Angel Correa in your team like we are. Um, so yeah, shooting is definitely in a fantastic spot. Really, really big fan of that because if he has the finesse shot traits, that's a really huge plus to shoot with either his weak foot or his strong foot. So some good stuff there. Uh, base card stats are passing on the cards, honestly, in a pretty decent area for a midfielder. Don't mind it whatsoever. As long as you are taking the right types of passes, it should be fine. Uh, dribbling. So I like that the agility on the card is at a 97 because that'll make him as responsive as possible in the meta of the gameplay because this card is going to be on an average body type, right? So you kind of want to improve the dribbling on the card as much as possible. If people were to use a card like this in the attacking positions, you know, I would mainly see him probably being used on like a marksman chemistry style to boost shooting and dribbling. But, you know, that that could be a possibility. I could see people even giving him uh, a hunter to boost pace and shooting. But you can see that certain stats are a little bit off for you to use him in that main attacking position, which is why we're going to be using him mostly in that Boris Legend 4231, because in the CDM position, they could potentially attack as well. Right. So with a card like this, he should be pretty decent at doing all that. Defensive stats on an anchor chemistry style, like we mentioned earlier, is in a very good spot. It's just defensive awareness that's low, but again, high defensive work rate's a really huge plus. Um, and then for physical capabilities on the card, he's also in a pretty decent area, considering the fact that he's five foot nine at an average body type. So uh, with this card, guys, in game, we are going to be using him as one of the two CDMs in Boris Legends 4231. Um, it's really good to try it on this formation because it's just cover center, right? So regardless of these guys being medium high, medium uh, attacking work rates does not mean that these guys do not push forward. They definitely will if they see the opportunity on the pitch. So it should be very interesting to test out the balance between Palinga and Robert Tone in that CDM position. So, yeah, we'll see how he plays. Hopefully he is a beast. He's getting involved so far. I'm liking it. Ha! <laughs> uh, why not? See if it works. I don't know what happened there, but we move.
It's actually a good pass, to be fair. Couldn't get the right pass to the middle. Nice, we'll take that. Ah. Sometimes the height, it, it, the height is always nice when it comes to like defensive stuff, but you know what I'm liking so far about the card is that there's a really good balance between attacking and defending with him and Paling in the team because they're both medium high. Very nice, actually, because they attack sometimes. They're just not over committing like crazy. See, it's the height part, right? Sometimes the height, uh, sometimes the height's not great to work with, but again, it's Something that you have to deal with a little bit, right? See, like that extra added height that Palinga has is super helpful. Nothing there. Nicely done. Robert's home. Yeah, it's just the I don't know, like the extra height is would be would be nice. That's why I like Valverde is a beast in that area. Good. Lost the ball like an idiot right there. Ooh, almost, almost. Oh, Robert Tone, that one's actually good. Good job, Robert Tone. Good goal. Let's go, Robert Tone. Let's go. That's what I needed. You know what? That works. I wish that first time pass was better. I would have been sick. Interception though, Robertson. Bad decision by him. We'll take it. Oh, he did really well there to be fair. I'll take that. It's close there, though. It's close. Hmm. Weird situation there. Robert Bolton. Challenge. I like that I can't force passes in this game. I like I, I like it. I'm gonna be honest with you. I really do. The Robert Tone's positioning was good once I committed Varon there. That wasn't bad. Good pass by Robert Tone. Really, really well weighted. I'll take that. GG's, man. While doing reviews, we got uh, 10 wins for foot champs. Honestly, I wish this game mode was a game mode I can play constantly. It's it's fun. I like tournament concept game modes. Like I, like these are the these are my favorite ones. It's the best game modes in FIFA for competent players. Oh, it was, a, it was a good initial block, though. Oh, nice try. 
Kickoff is always weird, so. It's kind of weird that that went to Bernardo, but it was actually good at the same time. Like review wise, I wanted to go to Correa, but I'll, I'll let the I'll let the pass slide there. I'll let the pass slide. OK, guys, so final verdict on the Robert Tone card. So, guys, listen, uh, we gave him the anchor chemistry style because boosting the physical stats as well as the uh, defense and pace is definitely a very nice thing, because the thing that you'll notice mostly in game is obviously going to be explosiveness. So. It's there isn't like a right or wrong option in regards to what chemistry style you'd give him. It's either going to be the anchor or you're going to give him the shadow chemistry style because shadow also really helps him out in regards to getting that little bit of extra pace to really utilize that explosive part on the card, right? So like I said, there's no right or wrong option when it comes to that. We used him on an anchor chemistry style and honestly, I thought it was perfectly fine. Uh, this card as a CDM, what I will say is this, right? So obviously I think for the meta of the game, I think a card like Valverde is better, right? But obviously he's more expensive for a reason, right? Because Valverde is a fantastic player, right? So Valverde, I'll show you guys a few things here and there, right? So just the player of the month version of the card, right? He has the four star weak foot. He has the high, high work rate. Um, you know, you give him the architect chemistry style. He's lengthy with already good defense and pace, right? So that adds a lot of variables to the card, but he's also significantly more expensive and he's not Argentinian, right? So that is something that you have to take into consideration when comparing these cards. Like I, I obviously in-game quality is one thing, but then the chemistry links and what they offer is another thing. This card's very solid. I really enjoyed using him. Um, again, I do prefer a different type of player, obviously, but if I was building a team and I wanted to fit Angel Correa and potentially in the future, Rodrigo DePaul in the same squad, that would be really, really sick to work with because look at the different positions you can put this card in. Correa is the same. You could put him in multiple positions and then Rodrigo DePaul would be a pretty easy link to get as well, right? For Argentinian Liga Santander links. This card on an anchor chemistry style, the only thing that you will notice for him playing in that CDM position or center mid position is sometimes the lack of height, right? Because height is always going to be a very huge beneficial thing to have because he his interceptions at an 87. Like when you use someone like Palinia in the CDM position, he has that height, but Palinia is not as good at attacking, right? So the balance of having two medium high work rate cards where Robert Tone actually commits on the attack and scores a pretty decent opportunity for me one time with that finesse shot and, you know, setting up the opportunity for the last goal to Bernardo Silva. That's awesome to work with because the fact that he has really good stamina to work with that explosiveness, explosiveness is fantastic. Like I said, though, I do prefer lengthy because for those long distance runs to come back, it's really, really helpful to work with, especially when you are a high, high work rate card. But yeah, medium high, this card was still, a he was still, you know, committing on the attack, getting into the attacking positions and doing a very, very solid job for me. So, you know what? The, the price of the card is a W for 49.5K. It's a great card to use, excuse me, in a center mid position or CDM position. And what's great about a card like this is that he's very versatile because let's say, for instance, you actually want to use him as a right mid in your team for the three back formation. You could totally give this card a hunter chemistry style boost his shooting to be in a very good area while giving him really good pace with great work rates to push forward and come back. So, so many different ways you can use a card like this. Definitely a W card for the price that he's at 100%. Um, is there going to be better options in certain areas? Sure, but the links that he offers for the price range that he's at is awesome in my opinion. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.